and welcome back to the Anime and Manga News for the week ending October 4th, 2019. Kyoto Animation announced this week that it'll be cancelling the first of its two Kyo Ani and Do Fan Days events this November. This event, titled Enjoy the World of Kyo Ani and Do, was to be held on November 3rd and 4th, and would include stage events, autograph signings, and lectures. Instead, the studio will be setting up a place in the city of Kyoto where fans may go and, quote, say their farewells to creators to whom they felt a strong connection through their works, end quote. Yeah. The second event of the series will take place as planned on November 9th and 10th. Sound from Kyoto to the World will host orchestra concerts for the Sound Euphonium, Violet Evergarden, and Free series. So that's, that's nice. Uh, KyoAni also announced that its physical store, KyoAni and Do Shop, will remain closed to the public until the end of March 2020. Studio staff members are considering how they will run the shop after its reopening. Obviously, they need to rethink things a little bit. The KyoAni online shop will remain operational, though they announced at its reopening in August that orders may take up to a month to process and ship now. Uh, in the meantime, fans will continue to send their support to the studio and wish for swift recovery for them and all those affected. Very sad, but um, that is the world we live in, quite, quite sadly. Anyway, moving on, um, it is moving into the new, new anime season, so this week, this week brings a number of fun new anime announcements. An anime adaptation has been announced for Bandai Namco's Miki no Mikoto franchise. Translated as Lords of Sacred Sake, the franchise interprets real-life sake brands as Ikemen princes, proving once again that anything can be turned into a pretty anime boy. These eight refined sake princes work as shopkeepers in the Matsuyoyan drinking establishment, located in a shopping area where gods and ayakashi are rumored to uh, sorry rumored to appear. The anime will premiere in 2020 with 13 episodes, and it is a collaboration between Bandai Namco Entertainment um, and the uh, in their a um, and Cats streaming app and production IG's app Anime Beans. Sorry about that. So the and Cats streaming app and Anime Beans or production IG, just to make that clear. Um, also, the Canadian toy and media company Spin Master and Shogaku Khan Shueisha Productions are developing an anime series and toy line based on Yasunari Nagatoshi's Zozo Zo Zombie manga. The manga ran in Shogaku Khan's Koro Koro Comics magazine from 2012 to 2018 and is described by Yen Press as, quote, a laugh-out-loud comedy sure to have boys and girls alike rocking in their chairs, end quote. The anime series will include 103 short episodes and will premiere on YouTube and Amazon Prime this fall. That's an interesting synergy. Google and Amazon? Weird. Okay, whatever. <coughs> Excuse me. Bandai Namco and anime studio Dio Media are collaborating on another new mixed media franchise entitled Futsal Boys. That's Futsal Boys with five exclamation points. Free and Haikyuu began the trend with only one or two. But let's be honest, at some point, too many exclamation, exclamation points is too many, no matter how exciting your sports anime is. Futsal itself is a sport akin to soccer, but played indoors. The franchise plans to include actual futsal matches between the cast members, as well as a smartphone app, uh, game, and anime series. Mao Marita is credited for the original work. Tomomi Ishikawa will be creating final character designs, and Shoji Yonimura is credited for story construction. So we'll have plenty of futsal boys, apparently. Whatever. Psy Games has announced an anime adaptation of Bungo Yamashita's animal school romantic comedy, Muranase Setongakuen, which takes place in a world where, due to population decline, humans and sentient animals attend school together. Why not? Of course, this is a manga, so while the male animals appear as actual animals in uniforms, the females just look like cute girls with ears and tails. Shocker. The story follows Mazama Jin, the only human male in his class, of course, and unfortunately a staunch hater of animals. 
He wants to get close to the only human girl in his class, but, in the way of any good harem protagonist, is swept up into the pack of the class's wolf girl, and the rom-com hijinks ensue. Yeah, the anime is being made in collaboration with several zoos and animal parks, and Psy Games' teaser video for the series stars a real bear. Perhaps there'll be appearances made by actual animals, though likely only the male ones. Looks cute, I gotta say, you know? I don't know. Um, an incredible new project of technology was announced this week, and this one is really exciting. Toshiba's Kyoxia, formerly Toshiba Memory Corporation, plans to use machine learning to generate a new manga based on the works of father of manga Osamu Tezuka. This work is the first step in Kyoxia's new project, The World's New Memories, which aims to show how memory can enrich the world. The new Tezuka manga will be generated through combining high-speed and high-capacity memory with AI technology and will be showcased in February of 2020. Imagine AI is creating new manga out of old manga. That's... I want to see what that does, actually. I'm curious. On Wednesday, meanly, uh, uh, meanwhile, financial research firm Teikoku Data Bank published a survey of the anime production industry. The survey reported a range of success for the industry last year. 2018 brought both a record total revenue across the industry and a record percentage of studios ending in the red. Of 256 surveyed production companies, 30% reported more losses than profits, the highest percentage in 10 years, and 23% saw overall decreases in their revenue. That's not good. On the other hand, 34% of the companies reported revenue increases, and 2018 became the eighth consecutive year that the industry set a new collective revenue record, bringing in 213 billion yen, that's a little over 2 billion US dollars, across all the companies. According to ANN, Teikoku attributed this total increase to, quote, major production companies securing an appropriate amount of production and continuing to improve the production volume despite a shortage of human resources and high outsourcing costs in the industry as a whole. End quote. In other words, big companies making a lot of money by finding efficiencies, despite there not being a lot of folks in the industry. Moving on, Kenji Iwaesawa's Ongaku Our Sound anime film has won the grand prize for feature animation at this year's Ottawa International Animation Festival. The film is an adaptation of Hiroyuki uh, Ohashi's self-published Ongaku manga, a story about young delinquents starting their own rock band, despite never having played instruments before. I'm sure it being manga, they do surprisingly well. The festival's jury described the film as, quote, a triumph of economic storytelling without sacrificing the richness of its characters, end quote, and a, quote, joyous celebration of the medium of animation, hmm. end quote. The movie is set to open in Japan in January 2020, and congratulations to everyone involved with the film. That's, that's pretty darn cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Finally, Crunchyroll announced on Tuesday that it has partnered with studio Sunrise and advertising agency Sotsu Company Limited to manage the merchandising rights for five Mobile Suit Gundam franchise series. The partnership will cover North and South America, the United Kingdom, Europe, and Australia and New Zealand, a lot of territories, and will produce merchandise including apparel and accessories, home furnishings and lifestyle items, and food products. This announcement comes in perfect timing with our October Hobby Hopper, so now you can wear and decorate your house with Gundam as well as building your models. So that's really interesting. Um, good to see Gundam making more progress into, uh, into America as well. So that's the news. Thanks for watching.